Okay. Yeah, I, I knew what I wanted to do. Um, just a matter of getting with Jerry Reinsdorf and actually uh, seeing if he was going to let me do it. World's greatest basketball player trying to make it in the major league. I was at a dinner by the Michael Jordan Foundation when his agent, David Fall, came over to me and said, you're not going to believe this, but Michael wants to retire. And I said, yes, I don't believe it. The 93 championship was really difficult to get to. It felt burned out. And I said to him, well, what do you want to do? What are you going to do? He said, I want to play baseball. He explained to me that it was always his father's dream that he'd be a major league player. But I said to him, you, you can't make a decision. You can't announce this until you talk to Phil Jackson. And he said, well, I'm not going to talk to Phil Jackson. And I said, why not? He said, because he'll try to talk me out of it. I said, well, you still have to talk to Phil Jackson. Phil tried to talk him out of it, but he couldn't talk him out of it. The 93 playoffs would start on Tuesday, and Michael had already agreed to throw out the first pitch. So by the time uh, it came for Michael to throw out that first pitch, it was all over the stadium that he was retiring. And it was, man, it, it was really a nut house that night. That winter of 93-94, I got a phone call from Ron Schuler, Jerry Reinsdorf, asking if I could come down to the ballpark to work out. And I kind of scratched my head and I asked why. And they said, well, there's someone that we want you to teach. And they said, we can't tell you right now, but will you do this for the organization? I'm thinking back on the guys in AAA. I can't see anybody that would take my job. I'm thinking they may be trading for somebody, but I'm like, of, of course I'll help the organization. And then a week later, this guy comes on TV, Michael Jordan, saying he wants to play baseball. And I'm like, okay, that guy, yeah, I, I can come down to the ballpark. So been in the major leagues now for a handful of years and, and used to working out with guys in the minors or the majors. And Michael clearly wasn't there. But when you stop and you think about how long he had been away from the game, unlike the Deion Sanders, the Bo Jackson, the Brian Jordans who played baseball, not just through high school like Michael did, but through college, some of these guys in the minor leagues and always staying up with it. You could see it in those first couple weeks of practice that he just didn't quite flow like a baseball player would. I was really nervous about coming in and somehow being projected to overshadow everybody else. I didn't want that. I wanted to kind of fit in the lowest that I could go and get the guys to know me as a, as a person and as a hardworking player who try, who's trying to understand the game, but yet trying to you know, grasp some of the fundamentals so that I can in, improve as a player. But for Michael, he was very humble. He was very modest. I mean, he came in truly in the first practice saying, teach me. I, I know I am not close to where you are right now. And I am willing to do whatever it takes. You tell me what I need to do. If I'm doing it wrong, don't be afraid to get at me. I mean, he, he was very genuine, very sincere about this. And it took like a week, maybe two, for one of the security guards to kind of look over at him and say, hey, Michael, um, I see you're not decking out Puff or Herm Schneider with any Nike gear. I mean, what's the deal with that? And he had this look in his eyes like, oh my gosh, uh, uh, did you guys haven't said anything. I didn't even think about it because you could see his mentality within that first week or two was, I'm the student, I'm the underling. You're the professional, you're the expert. And he wasn't thinking about, I'm Michael Jordan, you know, Air Jordan. He was thinking about, I'm this guy that wants to play baseball and I have to work my way up. Now, suffice to say, two days later, I had two sets of sweats, two sets of shoes, stuff like that. There was progress in terms of the baseball IQ, the swing, the, again, the baseball athleticism. So at spring training, Walter Rainey, our batting coach, who was you know one of the most intense people I've ever known, walked up to Michael the first day, and you know what kind of thing is this? Is this a joke? Is this publicity? Michael said that uh, no, he was dead serious. And Walter said, all right, then you meet me at 7:30 tomorrow morning in the batting cage. And every morning at 7:30, Michael was in a batting cage with Walter Rainey. Sometimes still his hands were bleeding. If you talk to Walter today. He will tell you that Michael Jordan was the hardest working athlete that he'd ever come across. 
Got it in the air. Michael Jordan's first try on a fly ball. You betcha. You know, the, the Michael Jordan baseball experience was a success, not a failure that some people like to believe. And you think about it, when we draft players today, you know, we send them to A ball. But we couldn't do that with Michael. It wasn't an option because those, those A ball facilities couldn't accommodate all the media that we knew was going to be there. And so we had to send him to double A. Well, we don't send anybody to double A to start with. And he hit over 200. I think he hit 209. And then he went to the Fall League and he hit 250 something in the Fall League thing. He hadn't played baseball since high school. And in high school, he was a pitcher, not a hitter. So after 14 years away from being a pitcher, he comes to Major League Baseball, goes to double A, and hits over 200. I think that was, uh, that was, that was incredible. These are the two dreams that I've always had when I was a kid from you know, baseball and basketball. And I achieved basketball, so I, I wanted to try my hand in baseball. There's another hit. A drive down the third baseline. The tying run may score. He's around third, racing for the plate. The throw. He hasn't touched the plate yet, and he does. Michael Jordan has tied up the ball game with a ground double to left. And this crowd has seen what it came here for. And everybody's on their feet yelling.